Shalom. Shalom. We'll start off the lesson by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Karabadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. Peace, blessed, and salutations to the hopeful elect. Only the USA shall be one. All right. It's the brother Damawafia. Brother Yahweh Khan. All right. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, I want to bring out some scriptures. The water of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us this opportunity to come preach his word, you know, and relay the message to the so-called Blacks, Hispanic, and the Native Americans <clears throat> who are the biblical Israelites, okay, that the Bible speaks about, okay, and the speckled bird, okay, our people that are in the other nations that look like the other nations, okay, you're the biblical Israelites. Let's go ahead, all. Matthew chapter 19, verse 27, then answered Peter and said unto him, behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore. That's right, man. You got to be in the mental capacity of the prophets, man. You got to see things. They had lands. They had families and wives. Okay? And they're really trying to consider the odds right now. They're trying to figure out where they belong in this prophecy. Okay? Where their heart is leading them. Okay? Because they've already forsaken all and followed thee, man. They don't know what's behind them. They don't know what has happened to their kids. All right, their wives, their mothers, and their fathers, right? He said he's forsaken all, man. That means everything. Go ahead, Ah. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. That's right. Okay. And at the end of the day, that's a glorious thing. That's something to look forward to because the Heavenly Father's promised us something way beyond this, way beyond our mental capacity, right? Go ahead, huh? And everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or land. Stop. Think about that, man. He said anyone. And then at the end of the day, is everyone really prepared to do that? Is everyone really prepared to lay down the cost and put their feelings aside for Yahweh Bashimi Shai? Which Yahweh, okay, is the heavenly father, who the world ignorantly calls God, okay, which means he to be. Bahashem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, okay, and his name means he saves, okay, or he who brings salvation, okay. At the end of the day, that's the world that we're living in. Christ, the, the minute things on this side for the Heavenly Father. Okay? So we got to be secure in what we're doing. Okay? And not be second-guessing everything that we do because this, the Heavenly Father put His Spirit on to do so. Okay? Go ahead, uh. For my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. That's right. Now you tell me what job occupation can offer you that. You tell me what position in this life can offer you everlasting life, man. Besides worshiping the true heavenly father and the heavenly son, man. Okay. And we got to count all the costs. Okay. We got to, we got to remember that we've been called for a higher calling outside of our lives. Okay. We can't be sitting here thinking my bills, right? My kids, okay? My mother, my sister. What's the scripture say? Who is my mother? Who is my brother? All right? You want to bring that out, Art? Or you got a piece of? Oh, I got one for you. Come. Matthew chapter 20. I'll start at verse 20. He says, Then came to him the mother of Zebedee's children with her sons, worshiping him and desiring a, sense, a certain thing of him. And he said unto her, What wilt thou? She saith unto him, Grant that these my two sons may sit, the one on thy right hand and the other on thy left, in thy kingdom. But Yahweh Shai answered and said, Ye know not what ye ask. Are ye able to drink of that of the cup that I shall drink of, and to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? That's right. And that's the spirit of Yahweh Shai, Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, man. Okay? And following the footsteps of the things he did. And a lot of these camps out here ain't teaching you that. 
they teaching you doctrine from their own belly, man. From these bugged out so-called elders, man. Right? You're supposed to be teaching the word. Supposed to be repenting and being Israelites. Are you kidding me? Go ahead, up. That was it on that. I'm getting what you, what you asked for. In Mark chapter 3. Mark chapter 3. Let's start at verse 31. Okay. There came then his brethren and his mother, and standing without, sent unto him, calling him. And the multitude and the multitude sat about him. And they said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren sat. Thy mother and thy brethren without seek for thee. And he answered them, saying, Who is my mother or my brethren? Right. So he said, What? My mother and my brother stand without, right? So guess what? That was his physical mother and brother. Okay. Okay. So guess what? They were standing without what? This word, man. Okay. This truth, this wisdom, this knowledge, and this understanding, right? That we get today through the elder apostles of Great Millstone, man. Our understanding is from the, where the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai resides, which at the end of the day, you have the camp saying, got it. Okay, let's talk about it, because at the end of the day, we done seen it for ourselves. Okay, the folly just continues on, man, as you continue trying to be studious, so-called, and learn, right? And trying to develop yourself in the spirit and and actually trying to walk in the spirit, you don't get the spirit out of these other camps, man. You want to say something, Mark? Going back to man, because uh, I forgot who said it. It was either I think it was Elder Apostle Kabar, man. And ever since he made this statement, it, it stuck with me since about how Jake they come into the not really knowing what you're getting involved in. And right. See, coming into this truth, man, it's it's. That's why, I mean, Romans 12 and 1, it doesn't tell you for no reason about how this is a sacrifice. You know, we pre present our bodies a living sacrifice. I mean, it doesn't say that for no reason, man, because, hey, you know, a lot of us, and going back to Elder Apostle Gabar again, he talked about how, listen, a lot of us, we were on the road to be musicians. A lot of us wanted to be athletes, actors. But for the most part, we, we said, the hell with all that, man. And, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shai, this is where we're at. And, you know, hey, we, we have no regrets. That's it. We have no regrets. That's right. You know, and what we sh and, and here's the answer to the question. What shall we have there for? Repentance. Right. What shall we have there for? Everlasting life, immortality, forgiveness of sins, man. No more going off. A kingdom of righteousness. OK, with righteous brothers and righteous wives, man. Righteous children, a righteous kingdom. OK. That's what we should have there for. That's what we're searching. And that's what the the uh, the prophets were desiring then. And that's what the prophets are desiring today. I don't want to say we are those men. Okay. Because we're sitting in the wicked ass kingdom where they're telling you to get the Jabberwocky, right? That you, everything will be okay if you put your mask on. Okay. That everything will be okay if you get your rooster shot. <clears throat> right. But it's my body, my choice, right? My body, my choice until it comes to that rooster shot, that jabberwocky, that cock-a-doodle-doo, man. Okay? Things are getting serious, and we're going to see, guess what, man? We're going to see how things play out for you other camps out here that's not preaching about that Revelations 13 and 16, man. Okay? That MOTB, right? Jake's not counting the cost, man. Like I was saying, going back to the other possible bar statement, coming into this truth, man, it's Jake comes in this thing with the wrong intentions. And when the Lord turns up the heat, that's why a lot of Jake end up falling out, man, because Jake's not counting the cost. All right. Jake ain't thinking about what's going to happen to him next. Okay. And what's going to happen to you next? These robot dogs, Esau's coming out with great wrath. They don't want to talk about that. Last time we did a live stream, they, they interrupted the whole live stream, man. Okay, just from the title itself, man. I got a strike. I got a strike after that, like shortly after, man. And they ain't worried about nobody else talking about nothing. You can Google everything on YouTube that got 14 million views, 17,000 likes and comments, right? But look who they picking on, man. Is it by chance? It can't be by chance. You got something else? 
no, man. Because another thing, um, I was meditating going to these whole mass shootings and whatnot and how they're attacking this from another angle about how we need to crack down on the, the, the social media aspect because, you know, we, we all know for the most part they're coming for the guns. But another, another, from, from another standpoint, they're trying to more and more crack down on the internet, man, because you know, all this, 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 they being all flooded with this truth. Mm -hmm. It's like you said, man, it's like brothers that do videos, brothers that use other videos in their videos, they won't strike the original video, but they'll strike brothers' channels for using the video. Correct. You know, so I got strike for a playlist, man. All my strikes, I got one strike off this channel for a playlist. Okay. <laughs> you kidding me right now? I'm really considering I gotta really relate, re-race all my playlists so I don't get no more strikes. They're not, they can't say it's medical misinformation. They can't say it's hate speech. Then what is it? Like the brother Zari said, man. Okay, what is it then? It's the truth, bro. Okay, this is exactly what, what it is. And you know what? The prophets and what the scriptures say, what's that, Jeremiah 28 and 8? Can we get that, Baba Kasha? Because, see, it's a repetitious thing that's happening in the earth, man. The <laughs> scripture says it's nothing new under the sun. Okay? Jeremiah 28 and 8, the prophets that have been before me and before the of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. That's right, man. And that's what's happening right now, man. Okay? Ain't no food on the shelf. Okay? Grandma in the church shaking her stinking ass, man. Okay? Thought now at age 98. Okay? These niggas out here, man, all about a good time and a barbecue, man simplicity okay you women out here getting abroad on your men behind your back you think the heavenly father ain't looking right you're out here having abortions okay you sitting out here beating the men of your nation down okay making sure that you're doing the will and the work of your oppressor you think the heavenly father is not seeing it what the scripture said that the eyes of the lord are on the sinful kingdom what's that Amos. Amos, right. What that nine? No, Amos. What five and eighteen? Oh, nine and eight. It's lucky. Amos nine and eight. Con, con. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. And what's that sinful kingdom, man? America, man. Babylon, Babal, confusion. Okay. That's all it is here. You have kids. They're not gonna know whether they're a boy or a girl. He ain't gonna be able to call himself he. She ain't going to be able to call herself she. Okay, the wickedness is going to prolong him, man. What were the saying last night? Just imagine these wicked niggas, man. Just imagine three generations from now. Right. With their children and their children's children. Just imagine, man. Right. We got to go. We got to get out of here, man. Quick, man. We got to get up out of here quick. That's that's scary. Yeah. Look at the gen generation now. These badass, unruly ass children, man. Look at these wicked people now. Right. Three generations from now. Oh man, Lord's will. Hey man, we gotta get up out of here. And that's what this is all about, man. Because hey, you ain't gonna get no peace. The scripture says thy thy sleep shall be sweet. That's how you know we're gonna be in the kingdom. Who's who's sleeping sweet now? Okay. <laughs> I could barely get any sleep, man. You get a eight, you get a, a full eight hours sleep, like Esau says, but you still be plagued with nightmares and Come on, all man. type of stuff. Man. Come on, Waking man. up with back aches, man. Come on, man. That's that's it, man. You're gonna work work you to death, man. Every intention on working you to death, man. And if you think that you're going to get anything else outside of this place, man, you sadly mistaken, man. All right? And woe to anybody who love it here, man. Get that, uh, if, if you can, uh, Baba Kasha, that Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Baba Kasha. Please, that's 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. And that's what you're going to have there for if you stay in this place, man. You stay in this wicked ass kingdom, that's what you're gonna have, bro. Straight oppression, man. So if the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Bashimi Shai is giving us through mercy, grace, and sacrifice something better, okay, then what is there to really question? Okay. Besides you double footing in and out this place. Yeah, you have to deal with the bills. You got to deal with the wickedness. You got to deal with the wicked women, the wicked bosses, the wicked employees. 
wicked people in general, your own people, two thirds. Okay. But that is all you're going to have if you hang out here, bro. Salak, go ahead, bro. It says, surely oppression maketh the wise man mad and a gift destroyeth the heart. And it says, um, uh, keep going up. I was going to say that word for mad, man. When you go into it, it's basically borderline insanity. Like, mm. I, I can understand. Like, I can, I know brothers feel like this. We, a lot of us, we're on. If it, if it wasn't for the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, man, we lose it, man. Bugged out. We, we lose it. We lose it. Man. But verse 8, it says, Better is the end of the thing than the beginning thereof. That's right. The end of what? The end of this place. The end of the wickedness, the traditions of this place, right? The end of thought, nature, and nigger culture, <clears throat> right? Sleeping with your, your brother's wives for fun and for sport, okay? Now I got these trend with these niggas coming out with these twicks in their head, man. Little GMO babies, man, right? These Fago babies. Come on, man. This place got to go, man. And anybody that love that kind of culture, say you ain't nothing but a spectacle, man. The Esau here, that's all you are. If you think about it, what are you besides an overpaid or a future court gesture, toting the football, dribbling the basketball, right? Better is the end of a thing, the scriptures say, than the beginning thereof, man. This place was so glorified, so great, exalted themselves as an eagle, Right? But now what, man? Look at this place falling down. Now what, you going to fall down with it? This is a bandwagon country, man. <laughs> this is a bandwagon country. And if you know this place is losing, you should be jumping to what's winning. Okay? And this and this ain't it. <laughs> okay? We got next. Like the brother, uh, <laughs> we got next, Mac. Okay? Shalom to that brother. And Shalom... To all you brothers and sisters on the comment board, I'm gonna get this by the beautiful brother GMS Amaz, Amaf Ayaz from a Yahawada. Shalom, Amak Yabashim Yahusha, Bashim Kakadash, Barakata. Okay, beautiful brother, beautiful. Hey, and Slakia, beautiful. You want to get that? Um, I think you want to go jump up to the twenty. Job 34 and 20. Baba Kasha, we're going to read it from the brother. Job 34 and 20. In a moment shall they die, mm. and the people shall be troubled at midnight. That's right. That's, that's what's coming, man. Hey, <laughs> in a moment they shall die, and the people shall be troubled at midnight, man. See, you got the prophets all over the internet screaming this same scripture. You got brothers, okay? Like-minded brothers, man. Okay, teaching sound doctrine, man. Go ahead, uh, Salak. And pass away, and the mighty shall be taken away without hand. That's right, man. Ooh, ooh that's cold. What you gonna do about that, man? The scripture says, by strength shall no man prevail. What you talking about? You Joe Six-Packs in the gym all day, right? <laughs> Trying to get your chest right? <laughs> Shaving your pubic hairs? Okay? Trying to be cute, man? In speedos and shit, we going that's the shit that's gotta save you in that day. Okay. Jake with your wave caps. All right. And your fake gold teeth with your fake gold chains and your fake Jordans. Okay. And your Crayola box uniform. Every time you hit the streets, you gotta look like a spectacle, man. A straight McDonald's clown, man. That's Jake for you, man. And that's that's what's clout here, man. Women flock to shit like that. Go ahead, up. Uh. For his eyes are upon the ways of man, and he seeth all his goings. Mm. There is no darkness nor shadow of death where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. That's right. Uh, that's beautiful. Okay, beautiful precept, because at the end of the day, we already know that what? The scriptures say what? Eat, they do things like as the Lord ain't looking, roughly paraphrasing, right? Like he don't see us. Who shall see us? Okay. And we just read it in Amos 9. The eyes of the Lord power upon them to sinful kingdom. And what's the eyes of the Lord, man? The angels. That's bro. it, bro. They're taking notes. Come. Come. Go ahead. I'll keep going. It says, For he will not lay upon man more than right, that he should enter into judgment without the most high. Mm. He shall break in pieces mighty men without number. Ooh, what you gonna do? Hey, listen. 
You see how Javante Davis broke Raleigh up last night? That's going to be small work to what the Heavenly Father is going to do to this place, man. That's going to be a minute thing. Y'all ain't going to be thinking about that here in a minute. See, that's all a distraction. Everything that's going on in this place is a distraction from this ass whooping that the Lord is about to put on this place, man. Okay? It's going to happen. <laughs> Go ahead, uh. He shall break in pieces mm. mighty men without number and set others in their steed. Said. Therefore, he will know if their works and he overturneth them mm. in the night so that they are destroyed. That's right, brother. And that's what we need, man. <laughs> we need this place to evaporate completely, man, without a trace. <laughs> okay? Without a trace, because guess what? We're in trouble if we hang out here, man. All right? Mm hmm. I'm going to get this by the beautiful brother Kazak Bun Yahawda. Shalom, brother. Yabashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakadash, Barak Thai, brother. Kazak Bun Yahawda, Amos 5 and 18. Beautiful, brother. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion. And a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? That's right, man. <laughs> you figure out how you're going to be, how you're going to figure out how to eat, how you're going to get clothed. When you get wet from the rain, how you going to get dry? See, Jake used to comfortabilities right necessities okay used to what being comfortable jake don't know how to fish how to skin deer okay jake don't even have an idea who he is as a people how you gonna go out in nature and do what esau do for a living esau do that for sport he paid good money to go skin deer and hunt and practice on what do they practice for us okay because we the real prey don't the scripture says uh, he did the part of e uh, from evil making himself a prey? Go ahead, Doc. I was on that. Um, Con. I had this in First John chapter two, okay, verse thirteen. Con, huh? Love not the world, mm. neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. You get too caught up in the things of this place, man. Again, going back to the elder Apostle Gabar, we making these states statements that be hitting home because. The more attachments you, that you have to the society, man, the harder it's going to be to detach when it comes to, when it comes time to it. Right. You know, when it comes time to, to detach. Listen, that's why it tells you in the um the Our Father's Prayer, uh, give us this day our daily bread. All we need is what we need just to get by, man, day to day. We don't need to have too many attachments, you know, um, because again, with that, hey, it's going to be hard to detach, right. and you don't want to get caught up. Like you said earlier, as this place is going down as we speak. It's been going down ever since 1969, 1970, you know. Um, and hey, like we read in Jeremiah 28, man. Hey, listen, we're not prophesying anything good upon this place. It's, it's only evil. Evil, only evil is coming upon this place. It's only going to get worse. Okay. It's only going to get worse. So when that time comes, hey, listen, man, you don't want to get caught slipping. You don't want to get caught up in the judgments of this place. When you how about your shot turns up on this place? That's why it's just it's just best to stay out the way, man. Yeah, man. What you mean, man? Somebody come through the club with a chopper, you're gonna get out the way. You ain't finna jump in front of that. Okay. No, no. You can get the hell out of the way. This by uh the brother Kazak Bunny Howard of Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof of the ways of death, man. You wanna speak on it up? Yeah, man. I'm gonna read it again. Um, it says there is a way which seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. Is that Proverbs 14 and 12? Because, yeah. Again, part of, um, like, I, like I just read, you know, not having too many attachments. All right. Because, you know, Jake, being that they lack that vision, as the scripture say, where, the vision, where there's no vision of people perish. Because right. our people, man, two thirds of them at least, they don't seem to think past the miracle. So, with that being said, they're going to try to get the degrees and, you know, try to get the white picket fence and all that, other, all that other stuff, thinking that this is the way to go when it's not. Because, again, this place, as we speak, like I said, man, it's going down in this. 
it's only going to get worse, man. Right. You know, so. Quick, fast, and in a hurry, too, man. You see yeah. things speeding up. The elder apostle Tahar had, listen, the spirit of Yahweh Shimei Awashai put, put the spirit on elder apostle Tahar to deem this year the year of the turn up, and it's done exactly that, if not more. They're talking about the, the, the karagma, man, on the mainstream media. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. That's one of the... <sighs> topic, topic of conversation, man. Okay. <laughs> it's June. No yeah, problem. man. I, listen, man. You got to be kidding me, man. All right. You go, listen. A lot of y'all camps, man, and a lot, of, especially you camp leaders, man. Okay. Y'all got a lot to pay for and y'all got a lot to repent for, man. And this ain't the time to be proud, man. Okay. Nobody cares about your, your, uh, okay, your Israelite fashion shows. Okay. And your, in your cookouts. Okay, nobody. And this ain't the time for that, man. We in the we in the midst of a spiritual war, and here it is, y'all moonwalking across, y'all elders, you so called elders are moonwalking across stages for entertainment tickets, man. Okay, calling yourself an Israelite, but you're still calling on Christ, okay, and Ashaya, and all these names that have no prevalency, okay, or no relevancy. Let's say that, okay. What about the Hebrew Israelite community? As if this is. Even building the Hebrew Israelite community, man, you still got to report to the so-called white man. You're still going to be in need of, going to have to go to the enemy in need of one of all things. Like, stuff these guys are talking about, it don't make no sense. Sure. This ain't the time and place for that. Yeah, how about Shah didn't set up America for us to be established? This by the, uh, this by the beautiful brother, Prince of Yahweh 9, Shalom, uh, Psalms 34 and 16, the face of the Lord is against them to do Salakia. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth, man. And that's what you have there for if you're wicked, if you two thirds. OK, if you the other nations, man. OK, that's what you're going to have sitting in this place asking for food stamps, uh, public uh, government housing, OK, government uh, subsidizing. OK, thinking these things, what does the scripture say? Trust not in oppression. Right. Go ahead. Huh? This by the brother Azarel, Yahweh of Psalms 94 and 1. Shalom, Mark. OK, the Lord God to whom revenge belongeth, O power to whom revenge belongeth, show thyself. That's Ooh. right. Because that's what we need around this place, man. Not only do we need salvation, but we need judgment to roll. Okay? At this point, it seems like we want the Karagma to be pushed more than the people who pushing it. Okay? We know what's going to come with that. Okay? We know what's going to happen. And we're okay with that. We ain't bucking up. The Heavenly Father got plans. We down with it. We just want to know where we going to be. Yeah, man. Y'all do what y'all got to do, man. Right. Right. You know, we're just doing something in the spirit real quick, man. Hey, and the water for tuning in. Okay. May the blessing of election be on your households. Okay. Uh, you want to say something no, before man, we close? That's it, man. That's it. All right. Count the cost, man, because we're coming into those times. The Lord's about to turn up out here, and hey, it's going to come down to faith ultimately. Mm. And, you know, that's all we're going to have. Like you mentioned earlier, everyone's comfortable. These Americans, they're so used to everything being handed to them on a simple platter. Well, what you gonna do when you how about your mouth shot takes it all away? So I said it's gonna come down to faith ultimately. All right. And they we're okay with that. Because hey, we ain't got none of us out here anyway. So like, like I said, let these double do what they gotta do. Bring bring up, let's get it on with it already. Man. That's, that's it, it, man. That's that's all we got to look forward to, man. All right, because having the spirit of Yahbashimi Al Shai is an on and a blessing as is. That's something that you didn't even expect to have. That's a <laughs> gift, man. All right, that's a beautiful gift from the Heavenly Father. We shouldn't take that lightly, man. All right, what shall we have there for? Immortality. Okay, what shall we have there for? A kingdom of our own. Okay, ruled in righteousness. The scripture says it's a righteous thing to recompense them who trouble you, man. Okay, you want to get that out? Or you have something else? I can find it. Beautiful. Real quick, this by the brother Kazab Bun Yahawda, Ecclesiasticus, which is the book of Sirach, chapter 33, verse 1. 
there shall no evil happen. That's right. Unto him that feareth the Lord. But in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. And that is what we shall have there for. <laughs> Deliverance. Okay. Grace. Okay. And that's what we're going to need in these times in Jacob's trouble, man. Okay. Because that's like a time of no other. All right. That's it, brother. There it is. Kazak Bun Yahawda. That's it, brother. Second Thessalonians chapter one and six, seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. That's it, man. Okay. And that's what we're looking forward to. And that's what the wicked shall have there for. How about that? Okay. That's what they can expect. Because that he's preserved them for that. And if we're doing the work of the Lord in sincerity and in truth, like we're doing now. OK, listening to the elders, apostles of great millstone, which have the doctrine and the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh which is the spirit that rests on the Bible. Then we're going to be OK, man. We got to have faith in the Lord that he's going to do what he do. He is a Lord of vengeance and justice, but he is a Lord of salvation as well, man. He's the holy one of Israel, man. The holy one of Yasha Allah. He prince of power. OK, we ain't got nothing to worry about. We got all faith and all of our chips are on the Lord. Ain't no, I don't got one chip in my pocket, man. We got it all on the Lord because, hey, all bets are off when he show up. Okay? <laughs> and that's what the wicked go have there for. Okay? We're looking for judgment. Okay? And, we're, and not only we're looking for judgment for our enemies, but we're looking for righteousness and salvation. Okay? And that's what we should have there for. Okay? Along with everything else. But we searching for that first. You ain't going to have none of that beautiful stuff if the Heavenly Father, the scripture says what? Eyes not seen or your ear have heard, okay? Have, or have entered into the hearts of men. You're not going to get that part without the repentance, rehearsing the righteous acts, okay? Tawada Yabashim Yawashai, man. For you brothers and you sisters on the comment board, man. Okay? And Tawada for your precepts, man. Beautiful brother, lighten it up, man. Kazat Bun Yahawad, I'm going to give you a call here in a minute. I'll Okay, you and Azarel, I'm going to call you brothers, man. You some beautiful brothers, man. Okay? Real brothers. All you brothers, man. <laughs> okay? Prince of Yahweh. You brothers, man. Hey, keep up the good work, man. Go ahead, out. Psalm 37, verse 4. Delight thyself also in Yahweh Bashem mm. and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. That's right. So if you forsake everything on this side, man, just... Again, present our bodies a living sacrifice. Do what we got to do in sincerity and in truth. Listen, whatever we lose on this side, we're going to get it back, man, a hundredfold, as as we were before, man. We, right. We're going to get it back. Right. Right. And then some. And then some. And some. Okay? So count it all lost, man. Listen. A lot of you boys, listen, a lot of us, don't. we got kids we don't even see anyway. We got parents we don't even see anyway. We got women that are just demons to us, man. What is there that you want to keep? Listen. Every day you should grow further and further. Every second, not even every day, man. Every second you should be growing further and further from this place, man. Okay? Into what the Heavenly Father is going to have for you, therefore. All right? And with that being said, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. Peace, blessed salutations, the hopeful elect, only to you. I say shalom. Shalom, shalom. Hey, man, repent, pray, fast, man. Okay? Shabbat shalom. Okay? And above all, wake up, Jacob. Shalom. Shalom. Beautiful, brother.